Hi, I'm Aaron and welcome back to another episode of Cleaning How To. Today I am going to show you how to clean vintage BW hookups. The reason why I'm showing you this is because these are my hookups of my 1973 Volkswagen Bay window camper. I'm in the middle of restoring it, so I thought I'd take the time to show you what Irish weather can do to these type of things. So as you can see, the hook cap itself has pitted, it's rusted, it's kind of, it's lackluster and it's lost its pop and shimmer. So what we're going to do is we're going to go through three methods that will show you how to restore these type of hook caps. So what we first off method, what we'll use in conjunction with steel wool will be stainless steel or steel polishing, classic WD-40, and then we'll move over into an acid dip tank. You will need steel wool, you will also need steel polish or a cleaner, classic WD-40, a tank that you can dip the whole hook cap into and acid. So what we'll start with is we're going to start with the acid dip tank. So first off, gloves on. After you have your gloves on, safety first, what we're going to do is dilute some acid into our dip tank. So I have about two litres of water in there, so I want the 50-50 ratio. So we're going to put two litres of acid in. Be very careful guys, obviously we don't want any splashes. So, gloves on, nice easy pour, looking for about two litres, bring it up over the level, should be about there. Now, the reason why is I want a little bit of depth in the water, these hook caps have a slight moon shape to them, and they're actually called moon shape hook caps, so the reason being is I need that depth, so it's going to sit, it's fully submerged underneath the, uh, underneath the acid, and let the acid reverse the ironing action and do its job. So first things first, we're gonna pop this one in upside down and we'll allow it to dwell. So, as you can see, we'll have to get a little bit of water in there just to kind of to get it to sink to the bottom. And we may have to top up with a little bit of water and maybe throw a little bit of weight in there just to keep that sunk down. So we'll just top off with a small amount of acid if needs be, I'll add some more water in in a few. So we have the acid dwelling with the hook cap in the tank that's working away. So we're going to use one side with steel and polish paste, and then the other side, we're going to use classic WD-40. So have to get stuck in, clean one side, clean the other, and then we'll do a quick comparison and we'll see how well it turns out. So I'm going to apply this cream generously as you can see and we'll start to work it in. I've got two or three packets of it so I'm not afraid of uh, oh, applying it quite heavy down around the edges and we'll start with a bit of steel wool and we'll start scrubbing. So small circular motions to start. So we'll leave that one working away. And then what we're gonna do is we're gonna go over to this side with the WD-40. We'll switch over to the clean part of the wall. Good heavy dose. Don't be afraid to be too liberal. And we'll start this side with the clean. Switch her back around and we'll go back over the pasted side one more time just to make sure that we've removed everything. Now I think we're ready to go in with a cloth and 
we'll start by removing the paste. Which has yielded pretty good results, I have to say. There is some pitting, as you can see, and there's still some oxidization of the iron underneath. So it hasn't fully removed the iron, but it's certainly removed a lot of the rust off, top, off the top. So we'll go ahead and polish off the WD-40 side, which I'm actually very impressed by. It has actually yielded really good results. Very cheap to buy in the shop, but the method is uh, it's quite simple and uh, the results are actually very good. We'll go ahead and remove the tape. brilliant I'm really happy with that okay the tape is stuck in my hand as usual the left hand side we'd use WD-40 as everybody knows WD-40 is great for rust so it's actually removed the rust from in between the pitting and it's sure it's kind of polished up quite well I could use a few more minutes going over but I'm really really impressed with the WD-40 now on the other side we have used just the classic steel and stainless steel polish but unfortunately this isn't acid based so it hasn't removed the oxidization on the iron there or the rust it's given a nice little shine all right but i think overall the wd-40 is probably the best method here from what i can see it's a great contrast in between so really cheap really effective way of restoring these vintage vw hook caps without having to give an arm and a leg to someone else to do the job for you I'm more than interested to see what's going on in the dip tank over here. So that's gonna be the next step. We'll put this aside and we'll go ahead and we'll remove this one from the dip tank. Now, remember it's been dwelling since we've been messing around there, polishing and scrubbing. So I'm gonna take it out and we'll have a quick look. So carefully, it is dripping, so just be careful. There is still acid all over this and there's also rust still over this, but don't be fooled. We have to clean this off. Go ahead with a nice soft cloth microfiber if preferable and we'll just go away go ahead and wipe away that rust and the greases and debris and everything else that's been picked up over the years and dumped onto these the Irish weather is very harsh a lot of moisture in the air classic cars unless housed properly they don't fare up quite well in Ireland as opposed to other climates as a dip I'm impressed. Turned out quite well. It hasn't been polished, remember that. So we haven't used any polish to bring back up that vibrance of this steel. All we've done is remove the uh, oxidized parts, which it's done extremely well. Out of all the methods though, my favorite was the WD-40 today. It was cheap, really effective, left a nice shine on it, believe it or not. And, um, yeah, for what you're paying, it's a great value. So I'm going to say, go with the WD-40. It's absolutely brilliant. It's really cheap, like I said. You get great results. Stick with us. I'd like you to subscribe, comment. Anything I've missed or any tips that you may have for me, I'd love to hear. And if you want to see any of our other videos, click on the links, of course. And until next time, I'll see you on another restoration video in Cleaning How To.